Hello! Hello, hello, hello. So, uh, there's, there's more spooky time. More, even more spooky time. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's not even anything to introduce. It's Resident Evil. Um, I sit here and get incredibly tense for two hours, and you guys drop by and say hello, and then, you know, you get on with your day. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I need to. Uh, it's my. I think my volume's been turned down. Sorry. Let me just pause the music altogether. There it is. Yeah. There we go. Now everything sounds a bit better. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get on with this. All right. That was Hank Castle, normal from Sonic Heroes. Continuing the theme of spooky songs every time. The game capture is not gonna show up immediately. That's because I was testing and recording something else yesterday and forgot to set it back. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Uh, oops. There we go. Resident Evil. There we go. Whoa, what? Oh, that's a that's a demo, right? Yeah, okay. I, uh, oh, that confused me. I was not ready for that to be a demo of the game. Um, all right. Can I, where's, where's the options? There's the options. Can I set this to borderless window? Aspect original. Okay. Video settings. No, okay, that's fine. I was wondering if I could do bottles windowed. All right, let's uh, keep going. We're back in mansion. Uh, there's now a hell of a lot more hunters. And by hell of a lot more, I mean there is at least one. And I think, I think I've seen like four so far. Uh, everything on this floor has been, oh no, this is, this is, wait, one F. Oh, yeah. Wait, which floor have I done? I thought I finished 1F. No, I need to open that door. Everything else is just kind of herbs or, like, kerosene or something like that. Um, then we need to continue exploring upstairs. There's something I apparently forgot in the room where I fought Yawn. Uh, so it'd be nice to head back there. Uh, I can't remember where hunters are and aren't. So, that'll be fun. I, th I think there's a pretty clear route I can take to um, the Yawn Room. I'm surprised I haven't found a map for that area yet, either, but... That's not what I need to worry about today. Today I'm gonna... Head back round, I guess, through the Dog Corridor, maybe? Dog Corridor seems like the safest option, or... Speed through... Yeah, maybe I, maybe I speed through um, the bit with the crows. What have I got on me? Yeah, I need to put the ink ribbon back. Okay. And I need to also uh, be very worried about shotgun ammo. Because that is running uh, um, insanely low. Got one ammo disc. Um, let me just put these back for a second. I'm going to make a combined... Um, I'm going to make a mixed herb real quick. I will take the first aid spray again, because I shouldn't need the, oops, I shouldn't need the, the full mixed herb just now. Alright, now take the first aid spray, and I'm guessing I need this metal for something. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's this room I'm about to get to. Uh, so I need to now speed up the stairs at an ungodly pace. Is there a hunter up here? Whoa, there is! Okay, so anyway, um, there's not a hunter this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Guess now's a good time to search the yawn room real quick. 
He's heard me. He's heard me and he's on a mission. Okay. Why do they make that noise? I've not heard them make that yet. Um, which way am I going? Through this bit. Alright. Yeah. That guy's gonna show up, but I don't think I even need to kill him now. He he should just survive the entire game without any harm. Yeah, here we are. I know what we're doing. Probably could have taken out the hunter with a with a magnum round. However, I didn't want to have to use a magnum round, so I would uh just rather not really. I don't know why I'm getting so tense. Oh, it's that herb. Yeah. Uh, if I take this, is it gonna... Is the room gonna go green? The room went green. Yeah, okay. It was the herb. That does lock from the other side. Where am I going now? Uh, I'm going to find a... Uh, hopefully, hunter-free or mostly hunter free path to the um to the locked door with the Spencer emblem on it. I got the other key on me still. Yeah, the crown key. And then I should that should that should free up at least one slot if I use the Spencer key. I doubt I'll need to use it again. If I got down, is this safe? Yeah, I think this is safe. Because the dude broke out, but it wasn't a crimson head, it was just a regular zombie. So I should be able to walk past him with relative ease on my way back uh, through the dining hall. This this bit this bit still gets me on edge, that window there. Like, I know it's at an angle where nothing's ever going to burst out of it because of the way it's positioned. But that, like, close-up at the door gets me every time. There he is. He might be a bit more aggressive, I don't know, but he's not crimson levels of aggression, so it's not a concern to me. Uh, let's see here. Want to go out, in through the crow room, and then cut through to that locked door, and just hope I don't get got at any point. I have... How many grenade rounds do I have? Twelve? Twelves! Enough, in case I need to defend myself. Rather not use it, but like... You know, what am I saving it for? That's not true, I'm saving it for the later game, when there's more grenade rounds available. Because so far they've been fairly rare. And don't want to just, you know, waste a round every time I want to get rid of a hunter. <clears throat> okay... The crows are passive in here until you start doing the puzzle, which means the crows are passive in here. Right. I go through this way, and then I go down and to the door. I'm going to mash X. I'm going to mash the hell out of the X button. Enough of these for the key, discard it. Yep, open the door. Cool. Hunter dealt with successfully. Huh. Right, well first of all, too dark to see anything. Do I need the lighter? No. That's... good. Take the battery pack, absolutely. Collection of scientific books, almost all of them are biology related. Content's still intact, maybe no one's been in here. Collection of scientific books, almost all of them are biology related. Shotgun shells! Absolutely take those. This now means I can't take anything else with me. Shit. Because I need to take that. Uh, well, seeing as I have five shotgun shells, 
How's about we try killing a hunter? Ow, fuck off. Shit. A hunter successfully killed. That felt good. Okay, and then I've used that up, and then I can keep that, and I've still got two extra shells, and that, this area is now hunter free. So they only take a couple of shots from a shotgun. I think, I think two. I might have shot it before, so maybe it was like three, um, but they don't take too many. Right, that'll unlock the thing at the, at the, um, yeah, the thing, you know? Any more locked doors on here? No. That's a herb. I just now need to search the upstairs, um, which is a little awkward, because I have to pass through an area that I think might have hunters in. There's only, there's only one more door I think I can unlock, you know. Without going into the basement. Um, That's okay. That's fine. I wonder how many handgun bullets it takes to take out a, a hunter. Probably too many, uh, but... I have a lot, so... That is also an option if push comes to shove. I don't know what the best safe room to go to is right now. Um, oh yeah, the one I was just at, because there's no longer a hunter guarding that portion. So I'm going to head back that way in a minute. Um, try and get that. Hopefully nothing gets him away. Not necessary to use this now. Fuck you, yeah it is. Yes it yes it Something about the art of the indentation. Oh, so it lets me take it. Or or use it. Do I have to like combine them? I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to free up some ammo, some inventory real quick uh, and try again. Because I don't think I have to deal with any hunters now if I want to get to that safe room. I, th I think that is, once again, a safe, safe room. Like a completely safe path. Nothing endangering about it. Oops. There we go. Water. Need to re-angle myself. I was busy drinking. I know I know the crows aren't going to attack in here, because they only started attacking when I started the puzzle. However, that doesn't stop me from being terrified every time and wanting to get through as quickly as possible. Right, yeah, no hunter in here. Uh, the worst that can happen is one breaks through, which very much could happen. Um... I am not about to take away from that the chances of that ever. Safe rooms here. Oh, there's one here, yeah. I remember that now. I I did I did wonder if that was the case. Right, drop some stuff off that I don't currently need. The two shotgun shells I'll frankly live without for the time being. Um The Medal of a Wolf. I've got no clue what that does. So I guess I'll leave it. Uh, is there a note on the floor there? Yeah, there is. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. Uh, they may, be, may, may appear to be dead, however, they're able to come back to life. There are ways to prevent them from becoming alive again. Incineration or destruction of the head. 
If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, this oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Okay. Um, hmm, what's up? Up leads to that other door that I haven't opened yet. Uh, so I might try up now. Up is um, a relatively new concept invented by scientists in the mid... The, the mid... Whoa! You fast! You fast! Whoa! Whoa! You can do that! Fuck you! Alright, okay. I see what the problem is. First of all that. Fuck off. That whiffed. That whiffed. I just wasted two shots. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, that's alright. So they take about two grenades. Or like three or four shots from a shotgun. They can So they can jump upstairs. That is something to be aware of. They can and will jump upstairs. Okay. Enough of these for the mansion key. Yes. I have unlocked every door in this mansion. Everything else is just blocked from the other side. Safe? Not safe. Puzzle? What? Oh, nope. I was not. I was not ready for 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 walls closing in. Okay. And again from the top. Right. Let's see. What's up here? Whoa, fuck, 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 fuck. Right, I'm gonna see what happens. Because my assumption is they just kind of shut, and then I can't... go any further? What about now? Are they gonna... Are they gonna go the other way? Can I push? I can push that. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try pushing that in the way. I feel like that's the intended method for this puzzle. I need to work out a way to dodge hunters, because they are very uh energetic, shall we put it. Right, push this in. And then run out and see if it breaks. Okay, it didn't didn't break. Switch here, no. I will not press that. Can I just keep pushing? I can. How far will it let me push? Because if I push this out, I feel like I'm just going to die. Okay. And the painting uh, does not matter. Alright, it won't let me push it any further. That's all good. Hmm. All right, now we take a risk. Um, we took the wrong risk. Okay, it's gonna keep going again. Oh, now do I try and like push it further? Was that what I was meant to do? Maybe. Okay, that's stuck again. This is... Uh. 
I feel like there's a, there's a way to like get that statue out or something, isn't there? Picture of a mother and child. Upon closer examination, the left hand side looks like someone's face. It's another painting. Maybe I have to like push it all the way to this side. I'm gonna I'm gonna run. I'm gonna keep running. And I'm gonna try and like push this now. Ah! I see it. And then I'm gonna run out again. Just because I don't wanna die. I don't think I will. But Oh, it gets pushed back into place, of course. Right, so you've just you've just gotta have confidence and go for it. Alright, straight line. In. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And then in. Nope, I won't die, but you know. Okay. That's as far back as that goes? Yeah, okay. So I've just got- have I just got to be quick? Is that all I've got to do? I think that's all I have to do. So I'm gonna just keep doing that. Oh fuck, that was it, that was it, that was it, that's- that's it. Gone. Done. Done. Okay, now push it in. Push it in, please. Okay. So, hey Majima, how you doing? Oh, fuck. Th this has to just be a speed thing, right? There can't. There's no like secret to this. I just need to not die when I'm trying to solve a puzzle. Good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Right, no, that's it. I've already fucked this one. I've already fucked it. Decapitating, and then, like, something else. Don't get caught by that. Can I go and push this now? That was bad, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. It's not as far for it to move now. I'm a fool. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm just trying to solve this puzzle, which isn't for being solved. Oh, do I get in? Do I get in the hole? I It can't be, can it? Right, I guess I'll try it. No, it's not I get in the hole. I don't get in the hole. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset the room. Um, yeah, no, no, I am, I am doing good. Uh, it's just Resident Evil makes me feel things. And those things are mostly fear and tension. Because uh, it's a horror game, and it's doing its job. Right. Okay, attempt two. Can I push it up the up the slam? No. Can I push it back now? I hope so. Yeah, I can. All right, good. Align it on the door so it's as close to the uh, thing as possible. Not that it'll make a difference when I when I push it in, but oh, that's got stuck on the door now. There we go. Don't feel right just walking around with the grenade launcher out, you know? Right, okay, I'm gonna leave that there, step out, push, then push it all the way to the end, and then go. I should examine this in the meantime. 
Ali has an emblem engraving. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Alright. I'll trust you. Oh, yeah, it doesn't auto aim at anything. There's nothing to aim at. Good to know that my brains are all with me today. I I have to just like push that in the slot, right? That has to be it. Alright, run, 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 and fuck and fuck and fuck. I fucked it up. There we go, it's safe to run past now. Wait for it to stop. And go again. Wait, was there something else at the side? There's the there was something else at the side. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and see if there's anything at the side. Uh, cause it looked like there was. Oops, camera doing its thing. No, okay. I'm just gonna go back out then for the time being, I don't wanna open it. Now I might cheat, I might not. Um Yeah, it gives me space to walk through, walk round. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'm I'm doing everything right. This is this is all good. I just need to push it further, I guess. And don't mix up the camera until it's too late. All right, get on the panel. Get on the panel. Get on the panel. Get on the panel. Eh, oh, that was it. That was all I had to do. I just had to open it like a bit further. I will take the battery pack. How many of them do I have now? I've got so many defensive items, that's great. Uh, and that leads to uncharted territory. Which is not good. So we're gonna go anyway. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna say fuck it and go down. There's another book. Oh, that's it, that's, that's the... Ooh. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. Examine. Open it. And there'll be an eagle. Yeah. What's on what's on the engravings here? I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde within those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? First, I didn't want to believe my eyes. That familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? I, why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel on another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. That instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now, I'm losing it. Everything's becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me, may God justify my death in exchange for your safety, George Trevor. George Trevor. As a switch, press it. Uh-oh. There's more things. 
dare I go further south? Uh, I guess I'm going down now. I hope I can turn around at a moment's notice because I don't want to be here. Oh, fuck. There's like... St oh, hey, buddy. It's good to see you again. I have missed you. Mmm, spood there. Sneef, snarf, spood there, good. Can I hear a second one? Nope, same one. What's this? Shotgun shells! Yeah! Inside the cardboard box lays a uh, molting spider. Map, map, map of the basement, map of the basement. I will take the, the basement map. And that's it, that's everything, that's everything. Oh, hey! You're down there now. There's two of you! Wow! I'm leaving! For now. This was, this was useful information. Mmm, don't like spiders. They're not as bad as hunters. Uh, oh, I, no, I have to. I'm stuck in here, because it's a hole. I'm stuck in the hole. That's a good warning. They shouldn't, I mean, yeah, I should have realized if I wanted to jump into a grave that I would fucking be stuck in a pit. Don't you start moving now. Where are you? Oh, you're there. That's cool. So I'm gonna... Say fuck off. Thank you. Um... Hmm, that worked. Surprisingly well. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. What is it? What is it? Who is it? Oh, it's a dude. Oh, okay. Uh, take the blue. Yep. Take the red. Hopefully I don't need any of this. Right, okay. Get ready to time... a shot well. You're moving quickly. There's two of you. Next. Oh, you're there. Hi. Right, okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Lining up. Lining up. Lining up. And... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Please don't die. You know what? I'll take this chance to get past you. I whiffed a headshot. Oh. Oh. Uh, Alright, what's this way? So that leads back into the... Um, Back into the kitchen. The seal of Raccoon City on a broken dish. Ah. ah a clip. Uh, can I take anything? No. That's a handgun clip. Alright. Can I just combine you? I, can, I can't combine blue and red. That sucks. Okay, there's stuff happening. Looks like the power supply for the elevator, the main fuse is blown out. Switch over. Power supply appears to be functioning again. Ah, cool. That was easy enough. So now I should be able to ride the lift up from the basement, right? That's, that's free travel between the basement and like anywhere else. Not anywhere anywhere, but Somewhere, anywhere. Probably goes down further, actually. Uh, there should be a dude somewhere. Where's that gonna lead? That's that's 3F, that's 2F. Maybe it leads to... Where's the zombie? Where, there's the Zimble. Right, lead him, lead him round this way. He's, he's doing his best. I don't think I need to kill him. No, I know, I know, it's unfortunate. The fate you've been given and everything like that. You're gonna be a zombie for your entire life. And then I'm just gonna zip zap zoodly doodle fuck you, get out of my face. Oh, ooh. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't wake up, right? Cool. 
And this should take me up to... Oh, no, this might take me up to the um, first floor. Oh, I don't like that it just shows me using it. Why does it have to show me using it? That implies something can happen other than just using it. Where am I? Okay. There's a zombie. And, oh, there, there he is. Uh, that leads into Yawn's room. Uh, so I'm gonna... And I was broken. Shit. Right, take him out. Just real quick. Fuck. Get up. Get up. Oh, okay. Well, guess we're making this a one-way trip. It's kind of annoying I can't clear my inventory out right now, because I would really like to be able to clear my inventory out. Where's the other zombie? Am I blind? Is it like down here? Where am I? Oh yeah, I'm going the wrong way. The whole time. What the fuck is that? No, 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 no! Ugh, all right. There's plenty of herbs in that room, which is A-OK -okay with me. I don't want to have to go between rooms because I just killed a dude and there's a dude dead there, which means one of them, or both of them, could get up and then I have to deal with the crimson head. And although I've got ample ammunition to kill it, it would have been nice to have not had to deal with it in the first place. Any action I mess up is, uh, irreversibly cringe, by definition. I don't know what this room's gonna be, I really hope it's a safe room. Because I think there should be more safe rooms in this mansion. It's not. Okay, that's a battery. I'm gonna have to come back here. Uh, fortunately I should have uh, a route back. That's, did that statue turn? Damage statue of a goddess. It didn't. Alright, okay. So I've not got anything from here. Uh, but that is... This is good news. I have another route around so I can dodge some shit. And I can not dodge some shit. But I can, more importantly, dodge hunters as a concept. Uh, so I need to drop some stuff off in a safe room. Which means I'm going to take the... Uh, the one outside. Because that's got less hunters surrounding it right now. Don't be making noises that I'm not familiar with. Is it this way? Yes. Perfect. Alright. So I might not be finishing the mansion today, uh, because I'm discovering a lot of new things that I didn't know existed in the mansion. And I mean, it's I'm finding, like, stuff that I need for outside the mansion, uh, and I'm good at describing this, obviously, but, um, you know. Oh god, it's so relieving to just not have a hunter there the second I open the door. I'm glad I tried taking it out with a shotgun. And I'm glad I took this one out with a shotgun. No, I took the other, I, yeah, I, took, I took, them, took this one out with a grenade launcher. And I wasted a shell because it was on the floor. And I just have a trigger finger. I have a bad trigger finger, I guess. Right. Um, blue herbs there. Red herbs there. Medal of an Eagle still not doing anything important, but I need both of them. I have both of them. 
Uh, can I combine? Maybe I need... I'm going to get the middle of a wolf out real quick. Um... Examine. Found inside the last book, volume one. Is there a special way to use it? Found inside the last book, volume two. Is there a special way to use it? Can't use it, use it. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to put them away until I know what I'm doing. Um, and then make a trek over to... Well, where I just was, really. Um, it's not too hard, actually, now I've opened up all the doors. Um, and try to... And just, you know, pick up the battery, pick up the... Um, pick up the herbs, combine them, make them easy to carry around. I shouldn't be using singular herbs this late in the game unless it's like, I don't know, a light graze from a hunter. Or maybe a zombie gets me, but that's what I've got the knives and packs for, patchy packs. I keep thinking there's going to be a hunter running to get me. There's not, consistently. It's a good feeling, honestly. I keep, I keep wanting to check my inventory and opening the map. Fortunately, uh, I have everything that I want to have in my inventory right now. I don't have any healing items. I don't have everything I want in my inventory right now. I'm going to go and get a first aid spray. Did I get, I got, I got everything out of that room? Yeah. I keep thinking this area is on the, on the first floor. I think it's because I go in through the outside, because I go up and then down and then come back in. But because I don't acknowledge it inside, I keep thinking I'm on the second floor. I'm not, by the way. Just in case you, you didn't know. Alright, take a first aid spray. Keeping the first aid kits for later. Like, later, later, later. Hopefully I'll have a nice collection of them by the end of the game. I feel like if I try, actually, yeah, because I've only, I've only been going 50 minutes, I think I can actually get the mansion completed today. And I mean, obviously I'll have stuff like Courtyard, which means I'll need to come back to the mansion and I'll have stuff like, actually, no, there's probably different routes I can take from Courtyard to get places I need to be. Um... All right, let's look at this. Stone and metal object. Right, examine that. Emblem is carved on the on an octagonal object. Nothing unusual. Can I use that? Well then what's the metal object for? After the door. Huh. Right. I don't know what that's for. Um, let's go get the battery. Uh, and then I can go sort out Courtyard um, instead. Because I can, I can go get the Courtyard elevator and traverse around that bit instead. What's my best way about this? How can I get down to the kitchen quickly? That way. I 
I should. I think there's a dude in this corridor, but I should be able to just make it past him. Uh, I can try and headshot him, probably to no success. So it seems like it seems like I need another stone, like octagonal outline, for my current metal object. So I don't like the music in that area. That's not calm. Right, three. Two, one. Perfect. That won't be a nuisance to me anymore. Once again, everything is. Yep. Yeah. I, keep, I keep checking in case I like think I've suddenly forgotten something, but everything is safe here. Oh, every, not safe, but everything has been checked out on the first floor, with the exception of herbs. And I'm not going to go out my way to get them because it's it would be good to like do a last run. Where I go and get herbs. Okay, the crimson hasn't. The, the, the other dead dude hasn't got up yet, which is a okay. I want to work out how you can stamp on heads, because apparently you can. Um. Oh, don't take that long. That's fucking awful. I don't. Maybe it's like a Chris only thing. Maybe Jill has the kerosene and Chris has the stamp on head button. Uh, hopefully, I haven't done anything to trigger a crimson head. I haven't. This is good. Um. Yep. All right. Let's get the battery. Get what you're here for. Get the other stuff later. When it's needed. No. And what are these? Are these normal or incendiary rounds? Acid. They were neither. Fool that I was. Right, battery. That's what we want. Uh, oh, battery pack. Didn't notice that. Uh, and then... Let me see if I can combine... I'm going to take the Magnum rounds. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can combine them with the Magnum. I probably won't be able to. It probably only takes... Yeah, it only takes six. Okay. It's a shame you can't drop items. Like, put them back, you know? Hopefully with where I am, if, if I have to like come through this bit, um, I'm never going to get bothered by um, Crimson Heads. Actually, I can, I can just basically beeline there. I don't have to take the elevator. I can take a safe route upstairs. Uh, what am I going for? That's it. I'm going out to the courtyard. Uh, that seems like enough for now. And I need to remember the route to the courtyard. Oh, wait, no, I know the route to the courtyard. This is fine. It's an entirely enemy-free route right now. Or maybe I do need the stone object. Because um, to open up the courtyard, I need um, to place one of the octagons in. Maybe I can place this one in. Maybe that's what you're meant to do. You know, I really, I really like this game's like progression. I, I think it works. There's no, it's never explicitly like, you know, there's a big snake now. You need to go and kill it or anything like that. And there's never any like, you know, do A then B. I mean, obviously, when you play through the game, you will, you know, do A then B then C. Um, but I like that it never tells you what to do, and it just kind of lets you explore it and kind of set your own goals and stuff. So, you know, like, right now I just want to, um... What does it say? The Defile of the Accursed Coffin. Yeah, maybe, I'm going to see if I can put the, um, the other one in. I can't. Okay. And that's locked. Okay. I'm going to go and put the other object back. Because, yeah, like, right now my goal is 
put the two octagons on the on on that door. Um, but you know, it's it's never like explicitly told me. You know, that's what you need to work towards. It's just what I have set as my goal. And I think I think it's smart. It very much makes you work and think independently. Uh, and it does it, and it does it well. I mean, obviously, you could use a guide and say like, now you should probably go here and here and here. And if you're like using up the same amount of ammo as the guide, then you'll have this and this. Um, but you know, you can also not, and then just work independently. Uh, where's my- yeah, I need to head back out to the- to that gate, get the stone and metal object. Very vaguely named, as always. Uh, am I gonna get shot? No, nothing can kill me here. I am immune. Not even God can stop me. Shouldn't say that in case I immediately get marked by something instantly. Oops. Where the fuck am I going? That, that's the one thing, and I understand this is just kind of... Because it's a game that originally had tank controls and is now translated to having full 360 stick movement. But I always find it weird when, like, the slight movements on the stick translate to, like, large movements with Jill, and then vice versa, so I do like a large turn, and she'll turn like, you know, two degrees. That's like, I think that's the only thing I can nitpick about this game, and that is just kind of because of how it translates. But I think it works because part of Resident Evil, the classics difficulty, um, was that you had to deal with the, with the, with the kind of clunky tank controls, um, in order to make it anywhere, in order to do anything. And so now they've swapped the tank controls out for these controls that give you a lot more movement, but you're more likely to mess that movement up. I think that works. Game design is impressive, and I understand very little about it, so whenever I make a basic analysis, I feel like my brain expands. <clears throat> Oops. Right, now I can go out. There's nothing at the end here? No. Oh, it's the light that I saw. I thought I saw something on the wall that I hadn't picked up, but then I realised the room would be green anyway because they've completed the bottom floor. What haven't I got on there? I th that looks like I've explored basically everything. There's no there's no unopened doors. I've used up all the keys, put it that way. Uh, there's just some basement stuff, I guess, that needs exploring still. Probably anyway. Right. How much inventory space have I got? Plenty. Cool. So stone and metal is the one you take from the uh, from the boss. That's the, that's the one I need to use. I'm guessing. Uh, wait, no, maybe maybe not actually. Uh, which way do I want to go? I think it is out this way. Yeah, it's out this way. Back towards residence. Um, yeah, because now I can power up the elevator if I go around and down anyway. Hopefully there's no hunters in here. Maybe the elevator can go in multiple directions. I don't know what's going to happen, but I need to power up the elevator anyway. Um, where do I go? I go across the path, and then 
set up the lift. Oh, it's a different lift, yeah. And if I need anything, I can head over to where the, the chained girl is and grab some stuff and get back with relative ease. I don't have any issues with snakes anymore either, because, well, I'm assuming now that Yawn's gone, um, like, gone, gone, that I shouldn't have to deal with snakes, but I was wrong! There's snakes everywhere, fuck you! Fuck you, wow! Wow, there's a lot of snakes! Okay, so snakes might be more of a problem than I expected. Um, fortunately, I can just use some blue herbs. And now I'm just on caution instead of, well, dying. Doesn't seem there's any dogs. That's the lift I just went through. Is it this way? I think it's this way. Yes. Alright, this unlocks a new area. Uh, and so depending on how much damage I take in this new area... Um, oh, I go up! Hmm. But then what am I... What do I need to... do? What? There's a there's, there's something to uh, the the back of mansion that I haven't accessed yet. I'm not going not going down to Lisa because there's there doesn't seem like there's anything to do there. Unless that's where Barry is. Is is Barry over? Yeah. Right. I guess make the trek over to where Barry is. Uh, real quick. I don't know what that what the point of installing that lift was. Or installing the battery there, even. Let me go back out. Right, let me There's no there's no obvious exits there. Um on the left hand side of the mansion. So let me go back out and So that just lets me jump down to that bit, head out to residence, I guess? There's nothing I could unlock at residence though right now. So I don't see the point in anything right now. Uh, Re-explore the rooms, I guess, that I've not been in. Seems like, it seems like the best method of, of the, best, the best approach. Um, Let's see, what did it say? Nope, that wasn't it. Hopefully another hunt is not going to follow me through. I, I'm guessing that is just a one-time cutscene that when you re-enter the mansion for the first time. Protect yourself from the bulletproof thing in chains. So, because he gave me acid rounds. But I thought the whole thing was that you couldn't kill the chained girl. I genuinely don't know what's not explored. Uh, well, I guess this, this area is clear, so I'm just going to do a little cheat and say... Resident Evil Wolf Medal. I love Wolf. That's the shit. Courtyard Fountain. That's what I need to do. Okay. What about the... So that's that's why I was going to the courtyard, I guess. Um, why do I need... Where am I going to get the other thing, then? I miss Barry. Where's Barry? 
Do I have a I hope I have a green herb just like sat in. Oh no, I don't. I made it into a full heal. That's alright. Yeah, okay. No, 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 not another hunter bursting through. That's alright. I don't cold, I need to put a jumper on. Uh, however, I'm lazy and so won't. Oh yeah. I keep thinking that door leads to the safe room and then it doesn't, and then I I'm surprised when it doesn't. It just doesn't work out for me, you know. Oh wait, no, that's the that's like that's that courtyard fountain, right? Stone ring, that's what I need, stone ring. In courtyard B2. Well, how do I get to courtyard B2? How do I get to courtyard B1? I don't think I know what's going on right now. I'm gonna head back to the house, maybe. Head back to the little the little shack where where the, where the where the chain lady was. That sounds like a good enough plan. It doesn't. Where do I want to go? I want to go to the basement, uh, which means out and take the fancy way go up and then head back to the base head back to yeah that area there where the um where the where the heels are get the get the acid rounds and then stock up on them because i feel like i'm gonna want them for something soon I believe I've got every door unlocked now. There's not there's not a single like uh, apart apart from the the room where I got the shotgun and the the bit the bit that goes down every single room is now unlocked. Yeah. Okay. I haven't had a 2F map yet, which could be part of the problem. I might need to find a map to the second floor first. Is this the right way? This is the wrong way. Brazda Hunter doesn't jump through that window. Not like I'm going to jinx it or anything, but... Oh god. That would have been a good scare. This way? Yeah. I'm gonna be going and expecting a crimson head to show up. Is, was that lit before? I'll, like, I'll assume that it was. Oh. No crimson head. That's good. And I'm gonna go and grab a herb with the oh, I've got two free slots I'll grab a I'll grab I'll grab one eat one then grab another and take a red to combine it with right okay aim up shit that's all right this is okay 
I'll just go through the, uh... Oh, can I afford to go through the kitchen? Probably not. I need to... Alright, there we go. Oh, I've got... There we go. That's ammo efficiency right there. Oh, oops. There you go. Get fucked. Is he gonna get up? No. He's bleeding out. Okay. Uh, fortunately, I've got everything from this area, so I also never have to come back. Alright, and now I've got the acid rounds. I'm gonna doddle on back to where that other person was. Uh, do I need, is it worth actually? Take the lift down and just reinvestigate that area. I think it was just herbs. Yeah, but if it is, then that's a wasted trip. Right. Not anymore. Now I have two slots. So go back through that door, take the lift down, hope the, hope the dude doesn't wake up. Uh, and go from there. And even if he does wake up, if I just speed through, I shouldn't have any problems. Hey buddy. Bye buddy. It's awful that you have to, like, wait for the lift to show up if you don't, like, use it in the right order. I think, I mean, it's actually kind of smart, but it's terrifying nonetheless, because if I have to, you know, wait for my sweet inevitable death to happen. Like, yeah, the, the time waiting for the lift could be the time it takes me to die, so. Not, not great. Not usually, anyway. Right, it was a... Whoa! So I forgot about you. That was nice. He's bleeding out. He's not a problem anymore. I think it was just this pistol clip. Right? Yeah. Okay, that's everything. What does the lift down that bit lead to? It doesn't, because it's not there. I'm imagining things. Luckily I don't hear the same noise here, which is good. Um, mm, safe room. Need to get to a safe room. Fake as many acid rounds as I can. Because I feel like it wants me to use a lot of acid rounds. That's the elevator shaft. It's not for this floor. Oh, it's that and that. What's up, Squawk? Hey, Gnu. How you doing? You doing? You doing good today? Whoa! Oh, fuck me! Oh, fuck me! Uh, I'm doing all right. Yeah, that's one way to describe it. Is that a crimson hunter? You just, you just get jump scared? Yeah, I thought this area was uh, zombie free. In case you weren't aware, I was wrong. Ugh, okay, hi. Yeah, hi, Gnu. I'm doing a bit better now. That guy only took... One round, still. That's impressive. And he didn't get a swipe on me either. I feel like that swipe would have been lethal. Uh, are there Crimson Hunters in this game? Let's Google it, because I know there's, like... Evil Red... Hunter... Hunter Alpha, huh? Uh, 
Red version of the Hunter Alpha can appear. The best place to see the variant is in the tea room after obtaining the helmet key. If you enter this hallway from either the piano bar or the kitchen, the Red Hunter will burst out the door leading to the Tiger Statue hallway. If you enter the tea... The Saturn version of Resident Evil Brown Hunter variant where the sickle shaped with sickle shaped hands and an antenna called the tick will appear in certain locations and replace the normal alpha model. This variant usually appears when more than one hunter is in a room, possibly so the player can tell which one they've damaged. Huh. There weren't hunters in that room before, so that's impressive. Unless that no. I can't have been right. Yeah, that was that corridor, which is very specific, obviously. But I, I, there was like a crimp. There was like a dude that I headshot like a minute ago, and then hunter showed up instead. I thought that I thought there was like crimson head hunters, and that I was gonna have to like worry about the hunters I'd already killed coming back and more powerful. Same as crimson head said with zombies, if you don't. Take the heads off with a shotgun. Right. Heading up, yeah. I'm gonna go all the way back down to where Lisa Trevor is at. I think it's Lisa anyway. I've been, I've been doing a little bit of Googling. And it, and, it, and it would seem like the chained up girl might be Lisa. Um... Because, I mean, I know the room's clear, but I feel like I might find Barry there and he's going to have some vital information I need. Um... Acid shells. Acid shells. I've still got two shotgun shells here, which is brilliant. Um... I can put the handgun ammo in the handgun magazine pile. That's not going to need any of that. Don't need any cum jars. Not that I would call them that ever. Uh, I'm going to keep these as is. Just a red and a blue. Or just a red and a uh, green even. You know, just in case. Uh, actually, you know what? One sec. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cheat. How to get to Lisa's... Room Resident Evil. Places linked to the following locations. Cabin, winding underground passage. Cabin, huh. Looks like I forgot something in cabin, so I'm going back to cabin uh, with plenty of grenade ammo in tow. Um... Not that I would ever cheat because I'm lost and, you know, don't want to run around aimlessly for 40 minutes and call it a stream. I'm really glad I had the grenade launcher when that red hunter came out, because if I didn't, I probably would have taken a lot more hits and panicked a lot more than I needed to. Right, so. Now I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's, there's gonna be a crimson head on my route, I think. Um, what was with that like spike? That was like I was playing the PS1 version. Which is a funny and relatable scenario. Because everyone here has played Resident Evil 1 for the PS1. Right? 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 Oh. Okay, uh, shotgun. Equip that. Don't want to waste it. Don't want to waste grenades on a crimson head as much as... They are mighty intimidating. If anyone gets up from here... And they don't, which is perfect. Or if anyone gets up along this route, I don't want to use grenades that I could be using against boss fights. Because acid grenades are basically the boss killers. 
I know those are my footsteps, but I keep thinking they're not my footsteps. And then getting scared because I hear my own footsteps. The game just does that to me. And it will to you too if you play Resident Evil HD for the PS4 and I think it might actually be on uh, Switch. Like a couple other things. Oh yeah, I guess I just didn't take the way out when I went into that that hut, or when I would drop down. Or maybe it wasn't open before. I don't know. Uh, now might be a good time to save as well, because there, there is a typewriter here. Um, amongst other things. And I have the space to take a, to take a thing out here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop a save here and then go for a bit longer. Seeing as I have 16 saves, and I use an average about two per stream. That doesn't sound right. Have I? Oh no, but this is my fifth stream. I use a little bit more than two per stream. Uh, just gonna put that there. Ease of access next time I use it. Yeah, how do I, how do I, like, go any further? Am I, am I dumb? Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I a fool? <gasps> the wooden mount! This is what the wooden mount is for! It has to be! Get a bit closer. What? What do I use it with then? It's used to create a map of the Spencer's mansion. Oh. Oh. Right. Well, okay. Uh, what was I googling then? How do I get? How do I, yeah? How do I unlock tunnels? What was the? What was the previous thing? Making sure I'm doing everything right here. Sorry. Uh, you don't even have a brooch, examine it, turn it into a key, pick up the metal object, yep. Use the helmet key, kill yarn. Basement, as soon as you head down there, there'll be spy three spiders after you kill the first one. Go into a zombie, yep. Grab the map of the basement, get the shotgun shells. Grab the dagger. See zombies lurking around. Flip the switch, yep. Be in the kitchen. Mansion to tunnels. Where the waterfall lies, watch out for dogs and snakes. Come back to familiar area, use the square crank. Ah! I use the crank. Right. Okay. Not that I was using a guide or anything, obviously, but, you know. Use the crank. Maybe I want to take the incendiary shells with me. I don't know what lies ahead. Um, I 
I think I think this area is technically is is technically safe now. So uh, that's all good because there was there was no sign of a big chain lady. Lisa, I think her name is. Seeing as everything seems to be leading up to that, I don't remember going that way ever, but I guess I did at least once. That's weird. Maybe there's two ways around. So I need to go to tunnels, and I think there's a boss battle coming up. So that'll be, uh, impressive. Impressive? I don't know. It'll be something. It will be a boss battle. And I feel like acid rounds probably aren't gonna be the right thing to use either for the for the boss battle that's coming up. You'll see why uh, soon enough. So I go out to. The courtyard. Oh yeah, and then I go there, turn on the turn the crank, then get the lift down to through the other way. Yeah. 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 That's why the crank doesn't get used up after the first time, because there are two uses for it. My dear Watson. Is it gonna be a snake? No. Well, that's impressive. What do you mean it's not, it's not necessary to use it now? The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. Yep. Okay, I want to go put the crank back actually before I go any further. No enemies. Good. I was gonna say, I figured that might like respawn some dogs in here or something like that. I have I have a couple of options for safe rooms. I think I'm gonna use the mansion one because it's right there instead of having to walk all the way up to the uh, shed shack whatever whatever the right name is Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal's House of Horrors, that's what I'm going to call it. There you go. It's Shaquille O'Neal's House of Horrors. That's where I need to go. But not yet. Around, and there we go. Alright, put the crank back. So I can probably use the crank again at a later date, but I don't, you know, need to right now, which is all good. I don't need the medals yet. I'll come back for those, unless there's somewhere in tunnels where I can access them. Hopefully there is. There seems to be at least one safe room per, like, map area. Mansion has two. Uh, residence has one. Courtyard has one so far, but it's all the way over at the... The Shed Shack, Shaquille O'Neal's House of Horrors. And then this one is somewhere. I don't know, probably in tunnels or labs. I think those are the only locations I have left to unlock anyway. Go this way, yep. I always think this double door leads right out to the pool. It doesn't. And it gets me every time. I am fooled. I 
I think I feel like I feel like more enemies are gonna just spawn in here. So go where the waterfall was and it won't be there anymore, yes. There's nothing in this bit, it's all part of the same room. Typewriter and item box. Oh, isn't that lovely? Blue herb. Well, seeing as I saved a minute ago, I'm not going to save now. However, it is good that there's a typewriter and an item box. Put the ink ribbon away. Um. See what's coming up now. We need the crank away, take your shotgun or grenade launcher, one or the other. Go back to the door by ladder, there'll be something for you. No. Flame rounds work best, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put that away. Uh, I'm gonna put those away, uh, and that should do me for now. Uh, the only thing is that blue herb there, which I'll just take and pop in the box, if you let me. Thank you. Because nothing here should poison me. There might be some other things that do. Nothing here explicitly will poison me. There's a hexagonal hole. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. A hole. Oh, there's a door back here. I didn't even see that. So there is. Okay. Now they said take your shotgun or the grenade launcher, I say fuck you, I want both. Branching path, branching path, let's head to the side first. Incendiaries, acid, okay. I'm just gonna drop them back in the box if that's the case. I'm going to save up my acid rounds for the late game and hopes, in the hopes that, that just kind of decomposes anything and everything that gets in my way. This area is still not fully so- oh yeah, because the side. Twenty-four acid shells. I have more acid shells than I do regular shells. It's impressive, honestly. This area is green, that means it took everything from here. Hopefully there's nothing to worry about in the next door. A handgun clip? Really? Well, okay. I feel like I should drop that off as well. I'm going to take the acid shells with me as well. I feel like I might actually want to have them to hand. I probably won't get to use them all, but on the off chance I run out of uh, regular shells, acid shells will be handy. And if I find more, I can load them into the gun, uh, but for now, just in case I accidentally waste a couple shots on a dude here or there. Hopefully I 
should be able to identify when something is down and when something is up at this point in the game. But, you know, that's, that's requ that requires a lot of me. So, we'll not assume that I'm that smart. Alright, that's the last time I'm going back now. If I find anything else, I'm keeping it. I think I only have two boss battles left, you know. Uh, one of them isn't necessary. Okay, this is, there's a there's a there's a red herb. Oh, there's there's a no, there's not a red herb. There's a green herb that way. There's a thing here. It's a round lid. Take the shaft. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Huge gaping hole. Wonder what it was dug for. Uh, yeah, da, yeah, mom. Another handgun magazine. Why do they want me to have so much handgun mags? Am I really gonna need that? Right, I'm not going back. I'm just keeping all the ammo on me for as long as I need to. Cutscene. That That's me. Is that voice Enrico's? Oh, I shouldn't have taken the mag. I need a, I need a slot, right? Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. no I'm single. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. That's a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <sighs> oh shit. Enrico. Right then. That's not great. Traitor? Who? Oh, it's either Barry or Wesker because they're the only people I've seen. I need the crank. I did this definitely a professional. And then it's gonna say, he's holding something, but I can't carry any more items. So there better not be a jump scare waiting for me. Around this corner. There's a jump scare waiting for me around the corner. Crazy how that works. Alright, well now I can come back freely, fortunately. Um, I hope there's no more hunters in this room. Because uh, if there are, uh, fuck this game and everything it stands for. I want to try and get to the boss battle today and then call it a night. Um, obviously, I don't know. Hey. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Sayonara. Ow! I'm running low on shotgun ammo, that's alright. I have acid rounds. Can I take anything? Nope, he's just got a knife stuck in his head now. So it's good to know that um, the knife means nothing to hunters. And that I am actually fine to say I took a swipe from him. Alright, drop off the handgun mags. Drop off the incendio round because I don't need it yet. I do not need it yet. Um, it gives me two free slots. I'm gonna keep the shaft because it's a funny word. And I might actually need it. And then once I'm out of shotgun shells, it's a uh, it's game over for me. Well, it's not game over, but I uh, will need to be dodging a lot more than I will attacking because uh, I don't want to use up grenade ammo at all until I need to, which means. But, I mean, I use grenade for hunters and 
bosses, so like... It's probably just going to be hunters and bosses left, but you never know. There shouldn't be another one show up, right? Enrico, whatever you're called. Sorry, I forgot your name so easily. Uh, this room is now green, which means I've got everything I need. And I can't maneuver anyway. How many shotgun shells am I on now? I'm guessing, I'm guessing like six. I think I only used two per enemy. I'm on five. Okay, yeah, I, I wasted one. That's true. So true. Like and subscribe for more relatable, true content. Take the green up. And I'm right on track to just go through the door. As I was. Ugh. Still got the shaft, still got the shaft. Ha! Funny word. Uh, I'll combine the herbs later when I need to. Is this the way? This is the way. Hunters are very good at jump scaring because they're quiet until they attack. Uh, so unless... You, uh, well, they're not quiet. But when you're running around an unfamiliar territory and you don't know it's around, so you're not trying to dodge it and move slowly to not get picked up, it's, uh, it's something. Let me tell you. It's something. Uh, uh, just put it there. That works. Just use it. What do you mean? Let me. Oh, there it is. What? What? Yeah, okay, just rotate the whole earth. Okay. Apparently I don't need to use that again, which is good news. Now I've got two cranks. Uh, I'm going to put important things higher up. Ammo disc. Uh, put the light there, actually. Fuel canteen. Crank. Crank. Medal of Wolf goes there. And the wooden mount goes at the bottom. Off I got. Okay, inventory management is A-OK -okay for now. Green herb there. I'll probably head back to this typewriter at some point, so I'm not going to take it. Huh. A thing. Straight road. It's a straight road. Huge boulder blocks the way. Yes, it does. Oh fuck! Oh god! That scared me so much. That noise was too loud. Oh. Ah. This game sure has jump scares in it. Multiple times. Pass back this way. Is it a hunter? No. <gasps> Shotgun shells! Yeah! Decapitators! Might as well be called. I, li I knew I had to do, fortunately with that like cutscene, it at least gives you time to like realise uh, you die now. Um, if you don't go back to where you just were. There was no way the boulder was going to follow me into the... Oh. Oh, boss battle. Boss battle. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I forgot the incendiary rounds. I forgot the incendiary rounds. It's to my... Right. Go back. Go back. No. Okay. Well, now I'm poisoned. You dodged! You shit! You shit! Are you getting hit by these? You'd better. 
What can I take? I can take a survival knife, absolutely. Okay, spider spider's dead. Spider's dead and I hate I hate every noise that it's making. I'm going to I'm going to go back out the door that I came in. Where did I come in? I'm lost. Quite frankly. That boss battle was not as intense as I expected it to be. Uh, it was still intense. Guess I'm using acid rounds now. All the time, any time. Probably could have taken that out with the shotgun, I'll be honest. Um, I didn't really want to, though. Just take a blue herb. Uh, oh, no, I'm on low caution. Okay. Alright, let's see, what can I drop off? Survival knife can go with the other survival knife. Alright. I've still got an incendiary shell in case I need it, I guess. I'm fine now, I've got two slots free, I've still got a health item. Is there anything else I need to take with me? I don't have any normal shells, which is really annoying me. I don't want to have to use all the acid stuff up. I understand I can also, you know, I don't have to save it for like X boss now. But still. I'm also going to put the green herb in the box. Um, I don't think I'll have to deal with, any, with many more spiders, which is nice. Not yet nice as a way to put it. Oh, I need the survival knife, don't I, to cut at the thing. Oops. Let's go get that. I should get a flamethrower in Chris's route, and that'll be, like, hella easy to do, if that's the case. Because you can just burn the spider to death. Uh, I would assume. I mean, that's the whole point of the incendiary round. Probably only needed, like, one incendiary shell and that would have killed it instead of six potentially like two wasted I think grenade shell sometimes it just didn't look at the spider which was great I guess it was because of the baby spider that came in as well it wasn't really baby but you know because of the other spider that came in yeah this room this room's now free. Alright. Survival knife, equip. Okay, I'm gonna go put that knife back, because I don't have a need for melee combat ever. I tried melee combat in my old run of the game. It doesn't work well. If you, Unless you I mean, if you're pretty smart, yeah, it actually works pretty well. You can, you can manage things with melee if you want to. People have seen, you know, you could do most boss fights with the knife, I think. Um, Resident Evil 2, that's it. Resident Evil 2 speedruns use a knife for most of it uh, because of the high frame rate. So it means, so basically for every frame the knife is active, it does damage, and so they run the game on like 240 Hz, they run it on like minimum settings, and cap it at like 240 Hz, um, so that the knife is doing like, uh, they, they cap it at 240 Hz, or something like that, it's either 120 or 240, so that it's like fair for everyone to have the chance of running it, um, but so the knife does just like, major damage to boss fights, and you can take them out in a matter of seconds if you need to. Uh, I'm gonna cut the shotgun, seeing as we'd rather not use my grenade launcher unless there's a hunter around the corner. Which I suspect there may be. Map of the courtyard. Yes. Cool. I've only got a couple more rooms left. Herbs in here couple spot. I'll, you know what? I'm going to risk leaving them 
in the hopes that I do maybe come back. I still want to know what those things are. Right, I'm going to explore a little bit more. Hopefully I can get the, um, the stone thingy. And call it there for the night then. There's a hexagonal hole. There's a boulder. I don't trust it. Where do I? Where do I? Where the fuck do I go? Oh, that way. Okay. I've got. I've got to practice my boulder evasion route again here. I hate walking through, I keep thinking there's like a spider. I hate the sound. It's not good, it's not nice, it's not right. Uh, but that would mean, if I, if I can get through the boulder room, that should mean I should have all of uh, tunnels fully explored. I mean, obviously, uh, I might not be able to pick everything up, but I will have been to every room. Seems like a relatively mundane area, to be honest. I know I'm going to need that shaft for something in here. I have a feeling I do anyway. There's no harm in not taking it, it seems, so... You know. Right, I need to get ready on the crank, uh, because if I if I mess up the timing, I die immediately. And I don't know when I last saved. Probably before the boss fight, actually, so I know when I last saved. Yeah, it was a bit before the boss fight. No, I didn't save it. I said I won't save it. Um, I think I'll be alright. Right, so I go, so I activate it, I run back, I run back, I switch, I flick, there you go. I flick, I keep going, I keep going, I don't stop until I hit the door. Because the boulder cannot get me in this area. Or at least it shouldn't. Maybe it's going to subvert my expectations, maybe I, maybe I don't have to do anything. But I have a strong feeling. I have to do something here. Keep going forward. Go this way. A huge boulder blocks your path. Oh, that didn't, like... Huh. Am I, am I getting this right? Am I, am I going the right way? No. Flower. Oh, I see what I have to do. Yeah, so I have to like crank it a couple times. And then that'll let me still not go that way. It's got to be a one with a gap in, right? This is this is the puzzle. That's a different angle. That means the boulder's gonna come. Yeah, boulder's coming. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Bye 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 bye. That noise is the worst noise in the entire game, and that's not an opinion. That's objective. Please don't be anything down here or that is bad. Yo, medkit. Lovely. See, look at that. Good things. Only good things come from not fucking dying. And that seems to be the end of... Uh... Anything I can free up? 
Not really. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to backtrack and then backtrack again, which is annoying. But worth it for the gamer grind, you know, the gaming grind, the grind of the gamers. Like the the flight of the Valkyries, is it? I don't know. Actually, I guess I should do a couple of trips. Um, annoying as that may sound uh, for you, the viewer. Uh, I need to do a couple of trips. I'm gonna keep the shaft, I'm gonna put the ammo up top I'm gonna go grab the herbs from the other room, just because it's better to have them than not. You know, if I can if I can minimize the amount of trips I have to make to the tunnels later by just grabbing everything now, then that's magnificent. That's not it. This is it. That's that's not it. Where am I where am I going? Cut across the spider room. Everything's good in the world. Three slots available. Three herbs for a taken. Oh wait, there are four. No, there's three. Okay. I got it wrong. Oh yeah, there's three. Okay, cool. I have got a lot of herbs now. That's like, I think three green and a lot more red and blue. So I'm gonna just kinda mush them all together into some max heals. Um, for later, and then I can start using uh, first aid sprays if I need to. I, I guess I should keep a couple separate, although I think I can. I think I have more blue than I do green, so I can keep a couple of, of um, blue herbs separate for when I'm just poisoned and not on my deathbed. Right, okay. First one. Cool, that's one. Need to put that down in my key items, because uh, that's in the wrong section. Alright, and the second set of max heals oh, I think I have just about enough reds reds Ooh. use it, want to combine it. There we go, look at all them. That's 400 health poison cures. I have one, two, three, four first aid boxes which I think achieve the same thing. Up 
Oh wait, no. I wanna. Oops. What? I'm lost. I'm. I lost the pattern. Then starting again. Moving three at a time now. Oops. And then finally, the last bit of organization for today. Has to happen at some point just to make the rest of my run easier. Uh, there you go. So ink ribbon, four mixed herbs, four first aid boxes, three first aid sprays, two blue herbs for if I'm just poisoned and not dying. All right, so let's finish up tunnels. <sighs> hmm. I need to pee after this. <laughs> I really badly need to pee. Cause I may I went out, I left my room at like half seven, I wanna say. To wash up and then make dinner, and I haven't and I've had like half a bottle of water and a glass of apple juice, but apparently that was the limit. That was all my body could handle. And now it's pee time. But not yet. Because first I must I, I, I encounter Barry. Or something like that. I hope it's Barry. If it's Wesker, it'll make me sad. Don't tell me I have to recrank this, do I? No, I just missed it. Okay, that's all I have. Ten shotgun shells, two regular grenades, twenty-four acid grenades, and a first aid spray. There better be nothing harmful in here. Uh-oh. Did I do that? I did that. The goddess statue smiles silently back at you. Oh, I've got a, like... Yeah. I know what's happening. Do I need to go get the crank? Did I did I need the crank after all? Where's the way out? Let me let me out of here. Is that my way in? That was my way in. It wasn't. Where am I? Am I dumb? Yeah, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I worked it out. Ugh. Backtracking again, I guess. Yeah, there we go, okay. I just want to get tunnels finished. I don't want to do tunnels anymore. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. I might go for, like, another half hour if I'm stupid, which I am, so I'm gonna... I guess keep the crank in my inventory for now. Oh, yeah, I was remembering the wrong part of the guide. I kept reading the, like, you won't need it again, uh, which I definitely wasn't using a guide for, obviously, but I read something, and it was saying the square crank, not the hexagon crank. The hexagon crank I do need, repeatedly. I get what I do now. Yeah, I I I get what the, what the puzzle is. So I have to push it against that like that little bit in the wall, and then I think I have to use the crank to push that out. Um, to push out the statue, and then I can push it onto the altar and spin it a couple times. 
And then from there, I can um, push it into the hole correctly. So I push it into the hole incorrectly. Uh, I don't know. Going the right way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Puzzle. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. The statue is against the wall, and pulling it is not an option. Because of the game's physic en physics engine. There you go, that's in front. So we go up to the... We go, we go up to that, and we press use. And just as I predicted, it does push it out. So now I can... Push it. There we go. Uh, can I use the crank again just to get rid of that gap? Yes, cool. That gives me all the movement space I need now. <laughs> Oops, what am I doing? I've got three battery packs, that's impressive. Right, okay, and then it's gonna do that, so I push it off, and then push it on again. Oh. Push it all the way off, and then push it on again. There we go. Get around it, push it again. Now it should slot into its rightful place, just like that. Provided I've not... Okay, I thought I'd just put that at a really funky angle and had to reset. Cool! What's that? That is the cylinder. And then I combine the shaft and the cylinder to make a shaft and cylinder combination. Okay. I know where this is going, so now I go back to where the shaft was. Which was through that other door. All the way on the other side, yep, all the way back. That's okay. Where that one hunter was. And then I put it in. Where, where am I? Oh, that way? Yeah. That room's, that room's really disorienting. For some reason, I just can't locate the doors. My angles are not correct. Man, I gotta, I gotta wonder, like, how precise... How precisely you gotta uh, remember movement for a, for, the, for a speed run of this. I mean, like, obviously, yeah, any speed run, you have to muscle memory the movement. But something like this, you've got to preempt like so many angles, so many turns, before you can even see them. It's not like, I don't know, if you're speedrunning, I don't know, Jack and Daxter, because that's the speedrun that I vaguely know things about, uh, in that I've seen someone do it before. Um, and that, you know, you have to like, you can, you can at least see what you're doing, most of the time. I'll see where you need to go. This game, you might see where you need to go, but then the angle changes, and so your direction's off, and so you gotta change it. 
It's all just an awful lot of effort, you know. Series of flashing buttons. One. Two. Three. Two. One, two, two, four. There's an empty... Oh, wait. Examine this. Oh, I see. I need to, I need to make a pattern. to check on this side. It's it's 4231, but I would like to have at least thought that I have solved the puzzle the right way. 4231. Okay, what's going to be on the elevator? It's your inevitable doom. Wow. Right. This is where I'm going to leave it for tonight. Uh, because that seems like it's probably going to lead to something. Probably Courtyard B2, and probably a boss battle. Um, a boss battle that I am not prepared to tackle just yet. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to get to a save point before I finish, before I wrap up. Um... Yeah, this is the way. That's most- that's tunnels mostly done, I think. Which is good. Um... I took out the spider boss. I'm less afraid of hunters. I have killed multiple. This stream alone. I'm gonna hold on to the crank because who knows when I'll next need it. Um... Let's save, I guess. Woo! I'd be one. Right. That's Resident Evil, baby. Not done, but it's Resident Evil. Um. So thank you for coming. Oh, thank you very much for coming. Um, as always, if you are here, even if you just stop by for a few seconds, it's always nice to have people stop by. Oh yeah, it's a stream. So thank you very much for coming. Um, as always, say your vegetables, eat your prayers. Bit bit. I'm still not used to this new mouse I've got. I got a new mouse yesterday. Uh, which is the end of that story. It's a Razor Basilisk V2, and it's nice. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, thank you very much if you if you stop by. Uh, say your vegetables, eat your prayers, bit, bit, and I'll see you next time. Take care.